Bowman here from BW1.com, and I just got the Google Chrome OS netbook in the mail unexpectedly today. The CR48. It just came from um, UPS. I wasn't even expecting a package, and it just showed up right at my door here. I wasn't actually quite sure what it was, so I had to kind of slice it open to peek inside, but it is indeed the Chrome OS netbook. Um, we're going to do an unboxing, we're going to do a hardware tour, and we're going to do a first turn on here in this video. So let's get started with the unboxing. All right, so slide it up here. All right. And there you go. And the first thing you see is here are some directions, which is uh, it says learn the controls. Kind of gives you an idea on how this netbook works. Pretty cool there. All right. Open up down here, and we have AC adapter and the plug for the AC adapter. All right, here. Let's go ahead and slide this out of the box. Alright, looks like this is the netbook here itself. Come back to that in a second because we got something right here. Alright, this looks like this is the battery here, as you can see. Pretty flat battery. Pretty cool. Alright. Alright. If you crack this, if you crack this open, you find Intel. <laughs> okay. Let's check out, see if we have anything else underneath here. Um, this another Set of directions, giving you some safety notices and stuff on exactly how to set it up. Pretty cool there. All right, let's move this stuff to the side. All right. And this is the CR48 itself. Pretty cool. All right. All right. There we go, right there. Pretty cool stuff. And we'll uh, just attach the battery to see to see how it goes on here. Oh, it comes, comes up this way, snaps on just like that. Really, really cool. All right, so that's for the unboxing there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick hardware tour around. Okay, let's take a quick hardware tour around the CR48 netbook. We'll start off here on the front. We don't have anything here on the front, no ports or buttons or of any kind. On this side, we have the VGA port. You have a ventilation grate, and it looks like this to be some, some type of speaker here on this side. On the back, we don't have anything. Okay. On this side, it looks like we have another uh, speaker, speaker um, over here. And then we have the SD card slot. Just pops up just like that. You have a headphone jack, you have a USB port, and you have your power port right here. So that's pretty much it for as far as the sides. And when we open it up, it opens up just like this. There we go. You can see we have a, uh, we'll take a look here closer, a full QWERTY keyboard minus the caps lock, which has been talked about a lot. And even the power button seems to be just like a key. This just kind of goes in with the rest of the keyboard. As you can see there, you have some shortcut keys there at the top. Alright, and each key is individual and uh, sticks out, so it is, it's not, they're, not, they're not stuck together or anything, so there's plenty of space to, uh, between each key for typing. You have a dedicated search key right there. Obviously, if this is going to be a Google, Google product, you got to have that dedicated search key. Alright, that's the keyboard, and you have the trackpad here. Oversized trackpad, as I said, it's all one button, similar to what you see on Macs. Just clicks down. Feels pretty nice. And we'll look up here. So you can start up here at the front. Let's turn off the camera here. And we'll look at the top there. You can see the uh, webcam right there at the top. And the 12.1 inch screen right here. So that's pretty much just it as far as um, specs outside that you can see. Internally, it's been some questions on exactly what the specs are internally for the uh, the netbook the netbook here. But um, I can kind of go over what uh, what we found so far. Supposedly it has about two gigabytes of RAM. That's DDR3, possibly 16 uh, gigabytes of uh, total storage and SSD. It has a 1280 by 800 resolution on the screen. It, is, it contains an Intel Atom processor. It's supposed to be the N455. That goes at 1.66 gigahertz and it's single core. You're gonna get a uh, Bluetooth 2.1. You're gonna get Wi-Fi at 802.11n. It's gonna come with a 3G card here as well. 
Um, you have integrated graphics, obviously. And um, that's pretty much sort of the uh, rumor specs. No one has anything down exactly, but that's kind of what most people have found out there as, as they've gotten these laptops, um, these netbooks in. Supposedly has a battery life of about up to eight hours with the battery. Um, it's also the trackpad is multi-touch and it's about 3.8 pounds in weight. It is really, really, really light. Even with the battery out, even with the battery in, it's pretty light. And the battery out is lighter, obviously, but you need the battery. But um, that's pretty much it for the hardware tour there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a first turn on to see how, turn, how fast it actually turns on. Okay, we have the battery uh, plugged in here. So now what we're going to do is going to turn it on for the first time. It's supposed to boot up in about 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds, they say. And I'll slide this up. Oh, it turns on automatically. Pretty cool. Didn't even need to hit the power button. Let's see how fast it turns on. All right, so we're already at the setup. So we'll go quickly through the setup process. Um, let's see, it gives you, bring it a little bit closer for you guys here. All right, it says let's get started. Select your language, English. We can select the network here. And um, I'll select my network. And I'll just type in my password real quickly for my network. Make sure I get it right. Okay. Okay. Let's see if they give us any confirmation that it's been connected. All right. Yep, looks like it has. We'll click continue. All right, you gotta read the Google or Chrome OS terms and conditions. All right, we'll just click accept and continue from here. I'm gonna go and check some um, updates. All right, looks like we gotta sign in with our Google account, which I'm gonna do here. All right, sign in. Oh, asked me if I want to take a picture of myself. We'll take a picture, I guess, of us recording. Cheese with a peace sign. All right, there we go. Click OK. And there we are. We're right into it. Pretty cool there. It seems comes up with a browser like we've seen in most cases. And... Um, I'll definitely be getting deeper into this, installing the applications, checking it out and see how well it works. So definitely stay tuned for some future videos. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com giving you the first look, um, unboxing, a hardware tour and a first turn on and a setup um, incidentally through this as well of the CR48 Google Chrome OS netbook. Reminding you, subscribe to our YouTube page for the latest videos, follow us on Twitter and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.